Hi everyone, this is Jill from stampwithjill.com. I'm going to show you how to make this fall birthday card today. Here's a shot of the outside, and here's a shot of the inside. Let's get started. First you're going to need your Blackberry Bliss cardstock. This is 11 inches by 4 and a quarter, and it's scored down the middle here at 5 and a half. This is the Sahara Sand layer, and this is four by five and a quarter. You'll have a Whisper White layer for stamping, and this is three and three quarters by five. And then I have two small strips of paper. These go on the bottom of the card here, and these are a half inch by four and a half, and we're gonna trim them to fit the card. So let's start with the front. Today we are using the For All Things stamp set and we are using the leaf image, the watercolor image, and then for the happy birthday wishes I am using a second stamp set called For You with the birthday wishes right here. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to stamp this image in Sahara Sand ink. You're going to stamp this slightly towards the top. Then, you're in Blackberry Bliss, you're going to stamp the leaves right over top of it. And then right underneath, we're going to stamp the birthday wishes in crushed curry. Now we can move the stamps and inks out of the way. This is a super easy card. So then you're going to take your two strips of um, Moonlight Designer Series paper stack and you're going to attach these to the bottom of the card. Now they're a little bit long, so I'm just going to go ahead and trim them after I attach them to the card. I'm just going to put a little tiny space in between. So, as you can see, they're too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it over and I take my paper snips and I just line it right up with the edge of the cardstock and trim that off. Now we're ready to assemble the front of the card. Hold your card base. We can attach the Sahara Sand layer. And now we can attach this Whisper White layer. And there you have your card. I'd like to put a candy dot. So here's how I store my candy dots. I take them out of the package and then I put them in a clear mount box to hold them. I used up all of my crushed curry ones in the Regal collection. You can see they're all gone. But believe it or not, this um, Daffodil Delight from the Brights collection works perfectly. I'm just going to use my snips to lift that up and put that right in the center of the flower. And there you have the front. Now let's do the inside. For the inside, I have Win Whisper White four by five and a quarter and an additional half inch by four and a half piece of designer paper. I'm going to bring back in the Blackberry Bliss ink and I'm going to stamp the bottom edge like that. And then I'm going to attach this strip of designer paper right over the end. Turn it over. Trim the edge off. And there you have your inside. So we'll go ahead and put that right on the inside.
and there you have the inside of your card. And there's your quick and simple birthday card for today. Thanks for joining me.